Okay, we've got our runways built. Woohoo! Let's get out of here. Right, now, at the moment, they are grass, which is not what we want. And actually, I, you know what? I didn't check this. If I go to infrastructure, can I build them? No, I can't. I just wondered if I could build them in asphalt straight away. No, you can't. You have to go to here and then upgrade them to asphalt. So I upgrade to asphalt, which costs you another 60,000. They cost 100,000 already. So we're going to upgrade that. Am I going to put... I'm going to put some Pappy lights in. They only cost... Uh, now, now, this is another weird thing, because... If, like, the first time you click on it, it doesn't show you the lights. Right? But if I click on it again... No? Now, sometimes it shows you the lights, and sometimes it doesn't. Which is kind of weird. Anyway, I'm going to flip this around, and I'm going to put these... I mean, it doesn't matter where you put them, really. I'm going to put them in the middle of... Um, in the middle of these three bars here. And we'll set it back one, two... We'll set it back two. And we'll... Oh, I haven't got room to put it in there. Oh, I have. Oh, I have. You know what? We'll just put them on the outsides then. So, if I go up here, so where did I want? I want in the middle of here, so I need to flip you around and put you in. What did I leave a gap of? Did I leave a gap of two? I think it was a gap of two, wasn't it? Yeah. Boom. And then we'll do the same with this one. We'll upgrade it. Ah, which I can't see. Uh, upgrade to asphalt and build pappy lights. Which go in the middle there, space out to boom, and down here, same thing, flip you around, and you go in there. Maybe it's only at night that it shows you the lights. But again, it's like, you, you, when you click on it the first time, it doesn't show you, and then, and then it does. Right, uh, so that is our runways. Asphalt, we've got the lights, we're, everything's cool. We've got these down here. Um, oh, I, you know what? I didn't mean to take the ones out up here. I wanted 10 stands up here and 10 stands down there. Let's put those back in. So, infrastructure and small stands. Do, 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 do. Um, let me put them in this way first. And you can tell which way it is. You get the little red airplane at the top. And that's, that's which way they need to be pointing. So, boom, 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 and boom. Flip it around, flip, flip. And you go in there, 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 and there. All right, cool. So, now we are basically ready to, uh, to open our airport. Like, I mean, we could wait for these to get built, but to be honest, we can just get on with it. So, what we're going to do first... Is, huh. Now, this is kind of irritating, I have to say. You have to go through these individually. You have to tell it what type of planes to accept, right? And you have to open it, right? And if you want to upgrade it to asphalt, then you've got to upgrade it as well. So, you've got to go through every... No, I don't want to upgrade. You've got to go through every freaking one of these manually. And there are a lot of things in the game which, which don't scale well, right? And we haven't even talked about repairs yet, which... I find like really kind of annoying uh, so let's open that one and we'll open that one and you and you and you Bosh right and we'll go up to this end where these are ready now so general aviation and open general aviation and open like really we're gonna do this for every freaking one <laughs> now I suppose that normally you don't put in like that many stands but like, I, well, I mean, anybody that watches my channel regularly knows I love doing stuff on, like, the, on a big scale. So this just becomes, like, kind of a pain to have to go around every single one, setting it up. I suppose you only have to do it kind of once, but even so. Right, so, that's got all of these open. We'll now open up our runways. So, open runway, and open runway. Whoops, try that again. Open runway. Oh, it's now getting dark. And then I need to go to, uh, is it operations? I never remember. Oh, yeah, I need to go to operations and I can say, airport open. Hooray. Unfortunately, it's now so late <laughs> that we're not going to get anything until the next day, which is a bit of a pain. So what I'm going to do is go to operations and say, 
Fast forward to the next day. Now, because I haven't got construction going on, it'll actually fly through relatively quickly. Now, while that's getting on with that, we can start um, we can start messing around with the... Uh, no, I can't, because while this is going on, I can't do anything. I was going to get on with the, with the fueling. 10 o'clock. We've got to go through to 4 o'clock. I've got to say... I wish, I do wish this would kind of flick through a bit faster because there's, um, there's just nothing that happens between um, like 8 o'clock at night and 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, 8 o'clock at night and 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think commercial flights run a little bit later than that, but GA flights, there's nothing going on. There is one kind of cool thing. If you bring up a, a tool, it gives you a, a little flashlight effect, which I guess is kind of nice. Right, here we are, come to 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and we can get back to work. But, you, you see I've got this set on triple speed, right? When this gets to 4 o'clock, and look, it sets it back to normal speed. What? Leave my blooming speed controls alone, game. Triple speed, thank you. Um, let's actually pause at that point, and I'm going to go to, let's see, I want to go to um, to operations. There is one more thing that I have to do. Um, actually, let's that, uh, get let's get out of there for a second, because we'll start to get flights arrive. And let's, in fact, let's 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 turn it on. And let, let's let have a flight arrive. So here we go. Our runways are all lit up now. And if I um, if I toggle the taxiways, you can see the taxiways, and you can check that they're all linked up to everything, which they are. They're awesome, right? You can also do it by pressing the T key. Right. Um, I'm waiting for this to flash green. Right? Because what happens is, uh, we probably won't get a flight coming in until probably about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. What happens is, um, when you get general aviation flights, they will, they will ask for permission to land at your, your airport. Oh, here we go. Let's pause for a second. So this plane is... Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. I have to have the game running. Um, so I have to click and accept each individual aircraft, right? Which is just, like, ridiculous. So the one thing that you definitely want to do is go to Operations and, so, and tick this box. But, like, I mean, couldn't they have put a link in or allow you to do it from there? No, you have to know that it's in here. Uh, always accept GA flights. See, it's just like, like, why, like, why, why isn't there an option? Always accept GA flights. Boom, done. No, you've got to know that it's hidden away in one of these menus. Right. So, um, so now we don't need to say. See, it's got the tick on it now, so it's always accepting flights. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, um, let's say when's when's it due? Yep, yeah, it's not saying anything yet. Let's speed it up. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, here we go. Let's start down. Oh, oh, I want to see this. I want to see this. Go away. And here's our very first plane arriving. Right, now, that's saying that I haven't done the taxiways right. Oh, because I haven't put in the holding points. I always forget to do that. Um, so, pause for a second. When planes are going onto the runways, right, they need holding points. And you can put holding points, like, all around the place if you want to. And they're just places where um, planes should hold before they, uh, before they actually taxi and proceed onto the runway. So, or, or proceed anywhere. So we're going to put some in. And all you do is just right-click where you want them. So what I want is for planes to come out of here and then hold. Probably, let's, let's just hold them there. And um, this is regular taxiway at the moment, and we want to change it to a holding point. And then that's facing the wrong way. So if I want to change it so it's facing the other way, like click twice to rotate. So I have to change it back to a taxi node and then click it again to turn it around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, like, really, would it have been too difficult to just have, like, two options? I don't know. Um... Turn it off, turn it back on again so it's the right way around. And we need to go and do the same thing up this end. So, 
Uh, we want it there, change. Oh, no, that was the right way, so now I've got to click it four times. And then this one, there we go. So, we've got our holding points. So now, this darn plane should actually get the hell off here. You gonna move now? Yes, now he's gonna move and he's gonna proceed to his taxi stand. Did I get these lights in the right way? I really hope I put those lights the right way around. So he's gonna taxi around here and along here. And he's gonna to proceed to one of the stands. Should we speed it up a little bit? So they did quite go quite slowly. Oh, where are you gonna go? Oh, he's gonna to go to one of the stands at the top. Here he goes. Oh, oh, and the next plane's arriving. Now, before we do anything else, I just want to pause this, and we're going to click on these planes and just check. Right, um, these go green if they want fuel, right? So this is white, so he doesn't want fuel, which is no surprise because he's got like 94% full. Uh, if we go down to this guy, let's see. Uh, no, he's 93% full, so he's not going to be wanting fuel. So off you go. So he'll park up, and he will pay us a, a parking fee for all the time that he's parked there. We've just had another plane come in. We'll wait for him to park up, and let's have a look at you. You don't want fuel either. Oh, we've got another one coming in. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, you get, you get loads and loads of planes. And initially, yeah, you do. You get 400 every time they land or take off. Uh, you don't want fuel either. They do kind of go in like kind of rashes where like none of them will want fuel or all of them will want fuel. Uh, you don't want fuel either. <laughs> Man, really? Yeah. You don't want fuel. Oh, one of them's just taken off. One of them just left and took off. What we're going to see here, guys, is that there will be like 10 planes. Right? And currently we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... So, there's eight. Now, I don't know. The game seems to be limited to having ten general aviation planes. Uh, about. You will always have like eight, nine, ten, eleven planes. It's always around ten. So, we've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Oh, what a surprise. We've got ten planes. Oh, we've got an eleventh plane. Oh, my God. Get the champagne out and celebrate. We've got eleven planes. And now one's going to leave. And it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how many runways you've got. It doesn't matter how many stands you've got. You will always have the same volume of planes. Now, at the moment, things are pretty darn good. Right, we're making... We've probably been making somewhere around two and a half to three thousand an hour. If we go to the budget screen, we will see. Now, this it only gives you an hourly budget, which resets on the hour. So you can't even see like this hour compared to the last hour or anything. And there's no daily information. The data tab isn't active. I'm assuming there will be reports or something in here, but right right now there aren't. And yeah, well, um, and we're making like a pretty healthy profit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add refueling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get structures. I'm going to get a fuel depot, which I'm going to flip around here and plug on. Where am I going to plug this on? I think we'll, mm, we'll plug that in there. And then now I don't need extra fuel tanks, but I'm going to put them in just because I think they look cool. So I'm going to put in one. Two. Now, I think you can only add four. Um, three. Yeah, four. And then it will say too far away from fuel depot, which has got nothing to do with it being too far away from the fuel depot. It's just you can only add four, which is kind of nice if it told you because I struggled for ages trying to get more in. Um, so, right, that's our basic fuel depot. Let's get that built. And then once we get the, uh, the fuel depot built, We'll get a fuel contract, and we'll get some trucks as well. Can I order? Some, can I order my trucks now? I don't know. Right, I've got my fuel depot built. Excellent. So now, if I go to contracts and go to let's see, filter these by fuel suppliers, and it, to be honest, 
they all seem to be either 0.004 or 0.005. So you just want to go for a 0.004. And it seems to be, again, either 20,000 or 40,000 litres per delivery. So I think we will go for this one because it's not going to get any better than that. So we'll sign that contract. And if I get out of here, we should see a fuel truck. Oh, no. I Pause. Pause, because I need to put this in. I haven't hooked up my in intake road to here. So let's do that. I want to go to infrastructure. I want, uh, bum, bum, bum. I want a checkpoint. And we'll flip the checkpoint around that way. Yeah, where should we put the checkpoint? Let's put the checkpoint in. It kind of doesn't really matter that much. Let's put the checkpoint in. Yeah, I kind of wanted it nicely balanced somewhere, but there kind of isn't. I can't put it outside there. Let's put it in. Let's put it in there. What the hell? Okay. So checkpoint goes in there, and then we want um, we want service right now. Hang on. Can I? Yeah, I want an asphalt service road, which is going to go there, and I want an asphalt road, which is going to go there on that side. Oh, go in. Thank you. Right, now you can go. Come on, constructors, build that really quick. All right, so we've got our fuel depot all set up. We've got our fuel contract. As soon as they build this, a fuel truck will turn up, pull into here, and fuel this up. Uh, we want some fuel trucks. I'm just kind of waiting for them to build this first. Uh, let's get some fuel trucks going. Where are we? Um, I want to go to operations. No, I want to go to economy and procurement. And then I can start ordering trucks. I don't have the requirement for this. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, I need the checkpoint. Oh, there you go. There's the fuel truck going in. Let's go up here quick. And uh, get out of it. You can see, you get these little arrows showing you where the fuel is going and it's this is loading this up and you can see right it's filled all our tanks up now he's going to go away now we should be able to do this where was i uh, i was in uh procurement now i should be able to order this yes there we go they hadn't quite finished the checkpoint so that's going to give us a truck where are we we're in the middle of the night so let's get you done. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. And Bosch, uh, I'm going to order another one. So here comes the fuel truck that we've just ordered. He zips in here. He goes and fills up with fuel, which is good. I like this. They're efficient. They come in, they fill up, and then they go and park in here until they're wanted. Right, so I've just ordered a second one. Here he comes. Comes into here. Bosch, and I'm going to get uh, a third one going. I probably want, probably four. Uh, where am I? Budget, procurement, let's get another one going. Right, now, before they will actually do the refueling, we have, this is another thing that's kind of sort of hidden. Um, we need to actually turn on refueling, which we do in the operations screen. So that's that one. Right, I'm going to order a fourth truck. And then I'm going to go to operations and here, Avgas refueling service service enabled. All right. Um, we'll fast forward to the next day. And come on, go, 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 go. Get through the next day. And it'll slow down, speed it up again. Right, so we've now got four refueling trucks. Oh no, we've got three refueling. Here's the fourth one. So we've now got four refueling trucks, which will sit in here. Now, earlier, I mentioned about repairs and repairs being a real pain in the backside uh, in terms of scalability, right? Every one of the, like, okay, first of all, your runways, you have to manually repair your runways. So, and you can see, they've only been open for two minutes and they're already down to 77%. And I've got to repair them. So I've got to click on those and repair them. Well, you've only got two runways. It's not the... Oh, look, this is the morning rush hour when they all... They all fly out. And sometimes they do a, a bit of a bit of a ballet. With the planes coming in, planes going out. Oh, there's two to going, going off almost at the same time. 
Sometimes they get synced up, and that actually looks really cool. Zoom out. There they go. Loads of cash. And we should see that um, we start to make a reasonable profit. So, uh, let's turn on. Oh, I, do, I, do, I turned on the refueling. So, what we want to see now is the, the refueling. So, uh, you didn't want any fuel. You didn't want any fuel. What about you? Uh, you don't want fuel. You don't want fuel. Oh, of course. Of course. Now that I've put the refueling in, none of the planes want any fuel. <laughs> Isn't that great? How much cash we got? We've got enough cash. That I'm going to start upgrading these to asphalt. Upgrade to asphalt. Oh, here comes one of our fuel trucks. This guy must want fuel. Yes, he does. See, he's green. And if we zoom in, if I could zoom in, uh, if I get rid of this. Oh, what the hell happened there? The fuel truck went away. He still wants. He still wants fuel. Why did the fuel truck go away? That's kind of annoying. Okay, well, well whatever. Uh, anybody else want fuel? No, you, no. Are you going to want fuel? Uh, no, you don't want fuel. Sometimes, the thing is, it takes a fair amount of time to fuel up a plane. I don't know why he didn't get fully fueled. It's kind of weird. What about you? You want fuel? No, you, I, 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 it's God's law. Nobody's going to want freaking fuel now. I told you, it really goes in kind of fits and starts. Sometimes they all want fuel. Sometimes none of them want fuel. I've gone, to be honest, I've gone like days where no plane at all has wanted any fuel. The game does do kind of some weird things sometimes. Like, look, this guy, I think it's, what, 61%. It doesn't want any fuel. This guy, okay, 90%, fair enough. What about you? Do you want fuel? Oh, you're leaving. What about you? Do you want fuel? Nah. No, he's at 94%. No, I don't think we're going to get any luck with the um, with the fueling. Uh, he's leaving, he's leaving. These two have just arrived, I think. Uh, you don't want fuel. And... Well, there's a big surprise. He doesn't want fuel either. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Somebody want freaking fuel. I just want to show everybody. It's not like not like a big thing. The thing is, when, when you are supplying fuel, you need a few trucks. So, um, because if you do get several planes come in that all want fuel, and you don't have trucks available to fuel them, um, you'll get like a black mark against your name, and your rating will go down. I've seen that. I mean, we're at 50%, which means we haven't upset anybody yet. Oh, here we go. Oh. He did a bit of refueling. I don't know why they only put... I'd know, but I, when I've been testing this out, they've been fully refueling, so I don't know why that's happening. Um, actually, if I pause and go to the budget, we should see... Yeah, here we... Uh, now nah, we've gone into the next... We must have gone into the next hour because we should be seeing uh, aviation fuel sales. Um, let's crank that up. Uh, please tell me you want fuel. No, of course not. <laughs> That'd be way too convenient. Um, no, nah, none of these. None of these want freaking fuel. What about you? No. No. Oh, you're just arriving. Do you want fuel? No, of course you don't. Let's upgrade some of these then. So upgrade to asphalt. Upgrade to asphalt. Oop, not you. Upgrade to asphalt. We'll do the ones on this side as well. So upgrade. Uh, please tell me that I upgraded to asphalt. Yeah, upgrade to asphalt. And that one. And that one. And that one. We'll do the ones at the top as well so that it kind of looks nice. Now what I would kind of like to show you is, um, is what happens when you upgrade all of this. Because the 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 problem is, like overnight, I will have around about 10 planes. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, there's a surprise. And sometimes you'll have 8 or 9 
Um, I, have I ever had it eleven overnight? I don't think it's, it's always. It seems to be like ten, around about ten. Um, and I thought, well, like I've got uh, now. If you put in all the other plane stands, which I have done before now, um, nothing changes. You still get exactly the same number of planes. And you're probably thinking, well, you need more runways. It's too congested. Yeah, I did. I put in an extra two runways. Do you know how much difference it made? Absolutely bugger all difference. Oh, go away. <laughs> upgrade to asphalt. And upgrade to asphalt. Oh, and upgrading to asphalt. Do you know what difference that makes? Absolutely bugger all difference. Upgrade to asphalt. And upgrade you. Upgrade you. And you. And you. Right. Now, I, I'd kind of like to show you um, that it really doesn't make any difference by putting all these other in. So, uh, um, uh, go on. I'll do a very. Uh, you know what? I'll throw this stuff in, right? And then I'll show you. Okay, so here we are with a fully upgraded airport. And it's, uh, it's first thing in the morning. We've got the morning, the morning rush hour of flights taking off. It's, I, I, the pathing gets a bit weird. You get planes that are waiting to take off on one runway, and then they'll suddenly turn around and take off on another runway. And, okay, <laughs> these, are, these are landing and then turning around and taxiing down here, which is kind of crazy. If we look at the taxiways. Ah, oh, but, you know, <sighs> the taxiways have all got a bit messed up. But... See, so, like, why are you turning around? Like, why don't you taxi off this way? Where's my... Let's see if I can get rid. Because we, we don't want that, those taxiways down the down the centre. They're supposed to land and then go off that way. Where's... Uh, what do I want? Infrastructure. I want taxiway nodes. So... Get rid of... Get rid of that. But I can't. I can't get rid of them. Nope, it won't let me get rid of them. And you. Nope. No, nope, it will not get rid of them. Okay, well, whatever. I mean, it still works. It's just a little bit messy. And apparently now I can... Oh, I've got to turn that off before I can toggle these off. Right, so, yeah. Um, it all still does work. Now, we're, like, we're just about making a profit. I've run this on for like a couple of days or whatever. But you can see, guess how many planes we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's always, it's always around about ten aircraft. And you just can't get any more. There's a the tenth one flying in right now. So, look, there's five there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's always ten. And it doesn't matter how many runways you add and how many of these you add. These are all turned on, by the way. These are all set up for general aviation. They've upgraded them all. And it's very cool. And the way the stands are laid out is cool. And, you know, well, well we're going to do some refueling. Well, now he was going to go and do some refueling. And then he's completely turned around. He's going to go to the other end of the airport for some reason. Oh, and here we go, and here's refuel, and you can see each each I don't know each liter of fuel or whatever is like four four dollars or whatever. Um, oh, if I pause, oh, we've just got oh, we've just gone into. Oh, I wanted to show you on the not the contracts. I wanted to show you on the on the budget us actually having aviation fuel sales. Oh, come on, come on, let's have one more fuel. I want to show you at least that. I gotta say the airport does look quite nice at night when all, when it all lights up. Although there's there's well, I mean I don't know I suppose I mean I suppose we've got the lighting on here but it'd be nice if it was like a little bit brighter or whatever. And and look we have got the old pappy lights working now. Like I wonder like if I if I go uh, no that's not what I want if I go to here and. Do upgrades, puppy lights. Oh, see now, look, now it's showing the lights. So, like, when it shows the lights, it's easy to know what direction um, to, to put them in, but it doesn't always show you the lights, which is um, it's a bit of a shame. I hope they change that, because it's, uh, it's a lot better. Oh, finally, finally, we've got to want some fuel. So, 
Uh, let's whiz him into wherever he's going. Where are you going? You're going to go to there. Right, so... Oh, a fuel truck comes out, and instead of just turning... <laughs> turning this way, turning left, he goes all the way up to the end of the airport and turns around, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. Does that make any difference if I put in a crosswalk? Okay, so now, hopefully, I'll finally show you, if we go to the budget... So here he goes, he's filling that up, and you can see the little green things going up, and hopefully we should be seeing, yes, look, we can see aviation fuel sales going up, hooray! But he only sold him a tiny amount of fuel. So there's, and they haven't been doing that when I've, when I've been like testing it before, so there's something, there's something wrong. Look, he's got 99% of his fuel left, he wants more fuel, he's asking for more fuel, but he's not good. So there's something bugged with that as well. Okay, well, there you go. Now, the only thing is, like, let's say they change the game so that you can unlock these areas and you could build, like, a really big airport. Would I want to do it? As things stand at the moment, no. Because there is no freaking way that I want to go around every one of these damn plane stands having to repair them. Right? Go around every... I've got to go around 50 stands... Like every now and then, repairing every freaking one of them. Aren't you mad? Right, that's... They've got to do something about that. They need to... I don't know. Maybe they add a technology you can research for, like, automatic repairs or something. I don't mind the cost of the repairs. That's fine. But, like, really? Does anybody want to go around clicking on every single one of these? Like, and, you, and doing your run base, like, pretty much every day. Go around, repair all your runways. That's not fun. That's not fun. That needs to change. Anyway, there you go. So that is how you build and operate a general aviation airport. And the game's got some promise. The game has got some promise, but there are definitely some issues that they need to address. But it's very early access. Um, oh, I've said, oh, my puppy lights aren't working again. Maybe they only show up. Like, at like dawn and dusk. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this. I kind of sort of did. It was kind of fun researching it. I got, it I, the, the way the game is at the moment, it's not as much fun as Sim Airport. But you know what? If you want me to see, if you want to see me do uh, like a, an airport terminal and do commercial services, then um, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and uh, maybe I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out. <laughs>